Hello everyone and welcome back to Mocha Eats. I hope you're all doing well. If you want to see how I went from this to this, just stay tuned. For my ingredients, I have one cup of cooked white rice, one small onion, Brussels sprouts, liquid aminos, and toasted sesame seed oil. So now I've chopped up my onion and my Brussels sprouts and I've also mixed one half tablespoon of toasted sesame seed oil with one half tablespoon of liquid aminos. So now I'm going to turn on my stove and I'll be cooking this rice on medium heat. Now that my pan is hot, I'm going to add my toasted sesame seed oil and liquid aminos mixture. I'm also going to add my chopped Brussels sprouts and onion and I'm just going to mix that. For me, I mix it about a good two minutes, a good stir fry for two minutes just because I still like to have a nice little crunch to my vegetables. I don't want my vegetables to be too wimpy, I guess if that's the word. Um, but I still like a nice crunch. I want them to be nicely seasoned, evenly coated. So when I add my rice, everything will have a great flavor. So I've been cooking this meal for a while now and I absolutely love it. I make this for my sister, she loves it as well. It's just a great way to enhance your rice and I absolutely love eating rice. It's very tasty and it's not a typical taste because you know, Southern food, we typically don't use toasted sesame seed oil so it gives it a you know a really nice taste that I'm not accustomed to just from the types of food that I ate while I was growing up but I absolutely love it and I hope that when you all try it if you try it that you love it as well now you can eat this dish with whatever you want typically when I cook this I'll eat this by itself because it's so fulfilling for me but you can also have this with fish with chicken um, anything you want so this meal is very versatile as well So now I'm just going to add my white rice that I have already cooked and I'm going to be mixing that in with my vegetables, the oil, and the liquid aminos. Now remember your rice is already cooked so the point of this is to just get everything mixed together, um, coat the rice with all the flavoring of the vegetables, the oil, and the liquid aminos. So you can actually turn your heat down. You don't have to keep the heat on medium. You can turn it down to low because everything is already cooked. And also, if you all want a video um, on just a back to basics, how to make white rice, just let me know. But I think I'm going to put one up just because I remember just starting out all the trouble I had when I tried to cook white rice. It was just not easy, but now I feel like I have it down packed. And I can show you just stove top and rice cooker. They're both very simple and very easy. Just a few key essential steps to make really, really decent white rice. So you can see everything is being mixed really well. And this is pretty much how you make um, my vegetable stir fried rice with toasted sesame seed oil and liquid aminos. Now you can eat this with a fork, with chopsticks, or you can just use your hands. Just always remember, the key to clean eating is clean hands. I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more.